So we have a bearing change of 10 degrees and a time change of 15 minutes. So we have the station here. Distance is 270 nautical miles. Minus 20. So here we have a bearing change of how much? 10 degrees. 10 degrees. And this is happening in 15 minutes, 15 minutes at a ground speed of 180 knots. 180 knots. So you're asked to find out what is the distance, time, and fuel required. So basically, distance. See, that's what they have just asked you to find the distance. Basically, they're trying to find ask you the distance, the closest dis uh, the approach, distance from the point of closest approach towards the navigation, as I've shown in the previous diagram. So this, these are all these can be considered to be equal ranges provided this particular angle is 10 degree. So before you apply 1 and 60, make sure that you look at and you're looking at an angle that is less than 20. Do not apply 1 and 60 if it is more than 20, you'll go wrong. Right? So since this angle 10 degrees, it's less than 20, you can apply 1 and 60 here. So 1 and 60, applying 1 and 60, you get tracker is equal to distance of by distance of God into 60. So tracker is 10 degrees is very similar to tracker. What is the distance of? Distance of is 45 nautical. Speed is equal to distance by time. But distance is equal to speed. 180. The time is 15 here. 15, remember it is in minutes. Therefore, you have to convert that to hours. And then therefore, that is 45 nautical miles. Distance of is Wait, 45. Wait, sorry. I'm lagging behind. How did you find distance of? So distance of, this, this is the distance of, opposite to the tracker is the distance of, yeah. right? 15 minutes at a ground speed of 180 knots. So speed is distance by time. So time, uh, distance is speed into time. Speed is 180, time is 15 minutes, converted to hours is divided by 60. Yeah, that's 45 nautical miles. Okay. And 45 nautical miles is distance of, what is distance gone? Distance gone is the range into 60. If I watch the range here? 70. 45 nautical miles into 10 divided by 60. What's the range? 270 nautical miles. 45 into 6. 270 nautical miles. So it doesn't matter what the position of the where the aircraft is relatively going to be a little bit more than 270 but we can approximate it to 270. It's angle small, so you can take all these as 270 itself for a smaller angle. Right? Yes. So if this is the range, how long will it take for the aircraft to reach? So time is equal to speed by distance by speed. Distance is the range by ground speed. Range is 270. Ground speed is 180. Yes. What's the time? 90 minutes. That's right. So you'll get 1.5 hours. Which is 90 minutes. It will take 90 minutes for the aircraft to reach the station if it decides to track towards the uh, towards the station. Now, you are given a fuel consumption of how much? 500 kg per hour. Per hour. Then, for what is the fuel required to cover this range? 500 into 1.5 hours, right? That's going to be 750 kilograms. 